Hi, we appreciate you joining us again. This time, we have prepared a demo covering the use of Graphene NG and Intel Software Guard extensions called SGX. SGX is a hardware solution that enables apps safe execution. This protection can prevent compromise due to attacks from privileged software on the host machine. Graphene NG has a huge role to play. It facilitates the usage of all kinds of software on SGX without a need for adjusting the software. Users processing their valuable, sensitive, and private data using external services or remote computational power want to be sure that data is secure and received results are correct. Gollum requesters will have such a warranty up to the SGX guarantees. For the purpose of this demo, we have decided to use Blender, a popular software for 3D modeling, complex enough to showcase Graphene NG's capabilities, which is also used in Gollum Brass. Let's start the demo. I launched two Gollum nodes, one being a requester and one being a provider. On the requester side, I pick up a test scene. and set up the configuration. We want the provider to use SGX as computation infrastructure. This indicates that it is an SGX task. The provider and the requester are connecting. SGX is enabled on the provider's machine. Now I will explain the process and come back to the demo in a few seconds. The provider runs Graphene NG enclaves protected by SGX. The Graphene NG enclave encapsulates Blender, which is the software that the requester wants to use. The provider never connects to Blender directly. The Graphene NG enclave generates the quote, which is signed by the Intel attestation service and sent to the requester. The Intel's signature authenticates the provider's SGX to the requester. The requester and the Graphene NG Enclave exchange the secret key, which is unknown to the provider. The data is encrypted and signed. Thus, the provider cannot read or modify the data without detection. This solution provides confidentiality and integrity for the requester. Back to the demo. They reach an agreement, so the provider starts SGX computations. After a while, the computation is finished, and the results are delivered to the requester. To sum up, using the Graphene NG SGX computations, the requester in the Gollum network gains an access to an external computing power. With no need for compromising the safety of his data, nobody can access it and it's protected from attacks and with the confidence that the calculations have been done correctly. Furthermore, thanks to Graphene NG, the SGX units may be treated as local CPUs, with an access a bit more complex than the ones on the user's machines. And for Gollum, this is an opportunity to develop a presented proof of concept into a new, secure, and easily accessible computing infrastructure for our users.